let's just talk a bit about some of the astrological aspects that are happening right now. The first one we want to talk about is Pluto being retrograde in Aquarius. So it's a very self-reflective period of time that you're heading into with both Pluto and Saturn in retrograde, right? So Saturn goes retrograde in just a few days, about a week in Pisces, which is already, we've talked about this before, Saturn in Pisces is already uh, kind of a strange placement for Saturn, right? Because Saturn wants rules and regulation and Pisces wants to completely go with the flow and have no impediments whatsoever. And now it's Saturn goes to grade in Pisces. Well, you're really not going to want to work, most of you. What you're going to find happening over the next few months as Pluto is retrograde and you're in this very self-reflective space and Saturn goes retrograde in Pisces, you're going to turn inward and start to say, okay, what makes me happy? What do I enjoy? Why am I not doing more of this? Why am I spending my time, my energy, my focus on things that are not bringing me joy? What outdated programs am I still running that keep me stuck, staying in places that do not support my expression of joy? And if I still need to stay in some of these places, how can I shift or alter my perspectives and my behaviors and my interactions to bring me more joy, flow, ease in these environments, right? It's going to all be about as Saturn goes retrograde in Pisces, all going to be about water for you all and flow which is going to be very interesting as you pair it with this very focused fire energy because the focused fire energy is going to make you want to take big actions and then the flow is going to say to you and then Pluto being in retrograde in Aquarius where you're reevaluating your entire identity, yourself as a human, your connection to humanity, uh, right? The entire political spectrum, what your political beliefs are, what your social beliefs are, who it is you think you are supposed to be here on this planet at this time. You've got all of this going on. So what you're going to find this summer is the remedy to the potential push and pull you might feel within yourself due to needing to live life and yet having planetary aspects that ask you to go within a bit and perhaps even not fully withdraw from life, but draw from the regularity of your life. And what you're going to find the remedy is, is fun. The more fun you give yourselves during this period of time, really until the equinox. So for the next three months, the more fun, the more joy, the more play, and the more creative expression you weave into this period of time and every single thing you do, every action you take, every bill you pay, every work product you create, every appointment you go to, every meal you make, everything, every action. The underlying question you can be asking yourself is, how can I focus my fire to make this more fun, to bring more joy, to bring more play? to express myself creatively in a way that is genuine for me. 